literally two seconds later, two seconds later, all you hear is bah, 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 like. <laughs> It's Araya. Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. And it is Friday, niggas. It's Friday. I know y'all probably like, bitch, where you been? But, like, y'all I'm pregnant. Like, I'm my third promise to let a bitch live. Let a bitch live. Like, sometimes I'm not going to have story times up. But guess what? I'll be putting up other videos. So, watch my other videos. Like, I put up vlogs about my family. We got a cookout. We thought they were shooting. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> like, go watch my vlogs. Go watch my makeup tutorials. Go watch my my pranks. I pranked Jose ass twice, and the nigga still ain't give me back. <laughs> so I just said, let me let me do a story time. This, this is actually not being filmed on Friday because I am working, guys. You guys know I'm not full time teaching, but I am subbing right now for the rest of the year in one classroom, and it's basically like that. Like the, those are basically my kids, but Jose. Oh, you found my hot popcorn, huh? Yeah, I hit it. He's a fucking thief, if y'all did not know that. <laughs> Give me my hot popcorn. <laughs> you snacking it. on it like it's yours. It's not yours. So, yeah, before I get into the story time and before I get into the writer of the week, I did want to talk about the hair that I have in my head. Now, this is not like a regular hair review because the hair that I have in my head is from a subscriber. I believe in, like, us supporting each other. So... If you have a business, a small business, she's really, really young. She have a small business. She's from New York. She's right next to me. Uh, she reached out to me like a few months ago and let me know about her situation. Like she's a really, really nice girl. And of course I'm going to help you. Like, no, I'm not going to charge her for any videos. I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm just going to help her out. Like we're going to be promoting her. Like we rocking with her hair. So you guys might see me do other hair reviews, but like I'm rocking with her hair. Her hair is really amazing. I'm going to have a full um review coming up soon or where i want curl the hair <coughs> but i did want to do this quick shout out first i right, saw so the hair that i have in right now is a 20 inch front toe and um i have three and a half bundles of 24 inches in my hair if you guys watch my vlog from my nana's cookout that's the hair that i had in my hair if you guys are following me on instagram that's the hair i've been having in my hair um i really 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 like her hair like when I tell you, like, it is the softest hair you will ever get. And the close, like, the lace frontal. It is top three lace front, best lace frontals I've had. Like, it's really, really good. Like, I'm not even going to stunt. The, her Instagram is going to be linked below, as well as her uh, website where you can purchase hair. It's like a big cartel store. You can purchase hair from her. You can get it real, real quick. She shipped fast. It's Icon Status Hair Collection. This is what it looks like. It's New York City based luxury version hair. It is luxury, y'all. When I tell y'all, this hair is so soft. It does not shed. Y'all, I brush this hair every day. Y'all know how many AliExpress companies, like, I done dealt with and their hair so fucking shedy, like, and I don't even make a video for them. No, I'm not making a fucking video for you. Their hair is all over my fucking floor. This hair does not shed at all it is so pretty like i love it all the ways but this is the instagram page your girl is up there um she does have promo codes going on right now for prom so if y'all want some good prom hair icon status hair collection go hit her up all information will be in the bottom bar down below as per usual and it's going to be linked right across here because guess what we support each other like i said if you have a small business and you want my support i am going to support you it doesn't matter as long as you real about yours like, i don't i can't promote for you if my if you guys if my writers can't go click on a website and purchase any like it makes no sense like no like we're gonna do this the right way so i will promote for you if you are serious about your shit and she is serious about her shit and i'm so happy she reached out to me and hey girl so comment in the comment section and let them know who you are but yeah icon status hair collection uh, let's get right into the writer of the week. This is my writer of the week. I don't know your name, girl, but your uh, Snapchat name says N A N Nani G one two three. Haha, Nani G one two three. That is who is my writer for this week. Like I said, she reached out to me like two weeks ago to make me to make her my writer. I said yes. Never posted a story time. Sorry, babe. But here you go. All I know, I want to write. Thank 
you Nani G123, or oh, I think that's your name. <laughs> thank you Nani for being a writer of this week. I love you much. Now let's get right into the story time. I never really know what story time I want to do, but because because during my vlog we thought like they were shooting, I was like I could do like I've almost been shot like three times. <laughs> So I could do one of those story times. This happened when I was 14 years old, back when we used to go to like the boys and girls clubs for like parties or like, um, what was the name of this club? What was the name of the club? It was, but you are, I don't know. You probably don't remember going to this club. It was like Aunt Irvington. Like right after like, um, the Irvington terminal. What is, it was on, was it Myrtle? Oh, you talking about boys and girls clubs. No, you asshole. It was on Myrtle Ave. Um, we used to go to these clubs all the time. And it was just like little teenage clubs. Some of the times we used to sneak. Like I got in trouble one time when I was 13 going to a party. My mother and my father like beat my ass. But that's not about this. That's not about that. But uh, we were going. We went to the Boys and Girls Club on Littleton Avenue for a party. It was back when I was doing pageants. And I believe I went with like a bunch of my pageant friends. And also, um, Birdie and who else went? I think it was me and Birdie and I had a friend. So it was probably me, Birdie, Teresa. Um, I'm gonna. It was Amira, it was Tashana, Bernicia. It was a bunch of us. And we went there and like we was really having a good old time. Like it was a fun party. And if you know anything about uh, North, y'all know how Lutheran Avenue is. Like, the Boys and Girls Club on Little Avenue is no more. They knocked it down because it was always too many incidents going on there. Like, so if you're from North, comment in the comment section and let them know, like, she be here bro, a little bit. Like, we already knew that. So we went there fully prepared. Like, I think prior to that, they said that they were shooting at a party the week before that. But we still went. We were all having a good time in the party or whatever. So, like, we was all dancing. And my friend... What was her name? I cannot remember her name and she's probably gonna kill me if she's watching this. We gonna name her Takira. Takira had asthma, I had asthma, Teresa had asthma. <laughs> we all asthmatic bitches. <laughs> we all had asthma, so it was so many fucking teenagers in, in the Boys and Girls Club, music blasting, it was so hot in there, y'all. Like, ridiculously hot all the time. It was really, really hot. So, we was taking breaks, going outside, and like that was okay like but it wasn't like oh we hanging out outside like they didn't allow that but like they let us go back and forth because we took our fucking ass and pumps out <laughs> out our bags like listen we need air like and as soon as you go outside it's like Ugh. now we had went outside two times in the front prior to that like we went outside two times and nothing happened so the third time me and takira went outside by ourselves teresa was still inside with amira dancing there's some little boys you know throwing back a little bit we went outside to get some air she was like like a dancer like she was a dancer like they wasn't doing like little booty popping like she was like choreography and shit like <laughs> she was doing <laughs> she was doing her little move like so she was super 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 tired like she was out of breath so we went outside she like <gasps> and like these boys was outside too they're like oh she good i'm like she's fine she's fine she just need air so we like <sighs> literally two seconds later two seconds later all we did bah, 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 like literally bullets flying past our head like you could sit, a bullet flew past my face and hit the what do you call it the door post of the boys and girls club like the ugh, i'm so happy these little motherfuckers ain't have no aim it was a car like that just strolled by and takira they they stroke that was the second time they came by takira was like what the fuck is that car doing the first time the car came back around they opened the windows and they just start busting off and they was doing it towards the boys but we was right there so like they like bah, 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 bah. like literally it was so many gunshots y'all and i was just like like I was screaming like I was so scared I'm smiling about it now because it's just funny that we got ourselves in that predicament like we ugh, I don't even think I was supposed to be at this party <laughs> so we ducking and like I oh my god it seemed like yo let me tell you about my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ okay I was supposed to be here today because like literally like every time I ducked 
a bullet was flying by like literally y'all it was the scariest shit ever in life and like we just ducking like running and we have to bang on the door because the security like they closed the door so we bang on the door but he see them shoot and he ducking down he opened the door we literally crawling inside we crawl behind the security desk they're still shooting it wasn't a drive by they stood it was drive i guess they st st stood their part and was shooting like and we under the security desk security under the desk with us security it wasn't regular it was nork when i say nork i mean it was the police department where's your gun my man why didn't you shoot back what's going on like he's under the desk with us and the boys under the desk with us, like, it was like, um, two L desks, but it was like, like this, and then like an opening, then another one. And the people, the boys are still shooting, and uh, luckily, when that door closed, it locked, because they probably would have came in and shot the shit out of them boys, like, oh my god. So they like, literally letting off rounds, and it seemed like it would never, ever, 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 ever stop. But it finally stopped, and so... <laughs> so I started to have a panic attack. <laughs> I started to have a panic attack like, <laughs> like literally y'all I almost was killed. But I caught like I got a grip on myself because I realized I wasn't shot. You know, you just check your body like Woo! But you know sometimes like I heard when people get shot like they be in shock and they don't know they shot. So, you know, I'm just checking myself. I'm just making sure. When I realized that I was not hit, I'm like, who? Now, the police, like, everybody okay? Anybody hit? Anybody hit? Checking everybody. And fucking Takira is in a corner, like, shaking. Like, shaking so bad. Hyperventilating. Like, my panic attack was a 7. Her panic attack was a 15. Like, we all thought she got shot. Like, she was so... And a, like her panic attack was so bad, she like put her arms around her, her knees and like locked up. She wouldn't let like, go. So the police officer thought she got shot in her chest or her stomach or something. Which I went over there to see. He yanked my little ass back so fast. Like I fell back on the other side of the desk. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? That's my friend. That's my friend. So he like, I gotta fucking check her. Like literally, this was a big, strong, grown ass man. He had to pry Takira up. Like pry it open to see that she wasn't shot so he found out that she wasn't shot they still call the ambulance because this bitch was not calm now now where she from and where i'm from it's like the same place she from the ghetto she from the hood you done heard gunshots before girl you done been in the crossfire before like figure out if you hit or not and move the fuck on like let it go like when i tell y'all she was not letting it go like she was hyperventilating for like a good half hour so while she's hyperventilating, I'm like, let me, like, the, this is before the ambulance got there. I'm like, let me take an asthma pump out and let me just, like, I'm squishing the asthma pump in her mouth. She's <sighs> like, she just really having, like, an OD panic attack right now. Like, really for nothing because, like, you're not hit. Like, <laughs> I thought that wasn't hit and I'm, like, over it. And it's, like, stupid that it, like, it's normal. Like, y'all know how many times people have been shot by me? <laughs> And I'm sure the same thing happened to her because she didn't grow up in a nice neighborhood, okay? But, um, mind you, the boys that they were shooting at, they dipped back into the party. And most of the people in the party didn't know what was going on. But my friend Teresa came out. My best friend Teresa came out. I was like, what the fuck? What the we heard gunshots. And, like, she was like, y'all okay? Da -da -da. So, they checking on us. But Takira's still having, like, a panic attack. We call her mother. I call... <laughs> Let me tell y'all, so I really wasn't supposed to be at this party. I called my mother and I'm like, Mom! <laughs> Ma, don't be mad. We at this party. We almost got shot. My mother was like, Shot! Bitch, come home! Oh my god, y'all okay? I'm like, I'm okay. Oh my god, there was a bullet that cloud. Like really, really, really gassing it. Really. I wasn't supposed to be at this party. I was supposed to be at Teresa's house, which was the case a lot when I was in high school. I was supposed to be at Teresa's house, and we went to the party. And um, so I was just like gassing it up, like it was it was a serious situation, but I was like gassing it up, like so I really wouldn't get in trouble. Like I didn't end up getting in trouble. Like she was just happy I didn't get shot. But I'm on the phone with her. We had to call Takira mother. Takira mother, I'm, I'm on my way. She came. The ambulance came. They finally calmed her down. Like she was fine. But I 
would guess it was a big deal to her because she was like scarred. Like I don't think she ever went back to another party again. I really don't like but we I was fine. Like I think I went back to a party two weeks after that. My mother was mad that I almost got shot, but like could y'all imagine like you outside catching a breath of fresh air and like bullets just start spraying like it was really really scary but like I really got over it super quick. Takira just was like extra. <laughs> That is what happened when um, I was caught up in a drive-by. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna name this video. I don't know. Um, Y'all probably gonna be like, she fucking retarded for laughing and smiling, but it's just, what you want? I can't cry about it now. I ain't get shot. Uh, I didn't get shot, so it really don't matter. I just thought it was funny. Now, I didn't think it was funny then. <laughs> Birdie got in trouble. <laughs> Party got in trouble because my daddy told my my mother told my daddy, oh bitch, we were supposed to be at Teresa's house. We should have been at Teresa's house. I don't know why we went out. Nikki, you always get us in trouble. We should have never went out. Like we really should have never went out. Birdie got her ass whooped. Like Birdie wasn't even outside when they were shooting, but she still got that ass taxed. <laughs> but thank God, you know, for Jesus because I was really supposed to be here right now because literally. It was so like, uh, oh my God, what is that? The Matrix? <laughs> when they be like, tipping bullets. <laughs> like, I really had some Matrix moves. Like, cause every time I duck, y'all, I lie to you, not a bullet zoom by. Like, oh my God, I was so. That's it for the story time. That's gonna be it for the story time. Um. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to hear the, I think I almost got shot like two or three other times. I actually saw my aunt get shot. Um, I actually saw somebody else get shot. Like if y'all want to hear those story times, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you don't, you know, oh well, wait for the next story time. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.